Okay, in the last video, we walked through being detained by a Fed. Before I get deep into it, I wanna reiterate that if you are on a state level charge and your charge get handed over to the federal, or federal level, meaning that if it's a gun charge, it's gonna be the ATF, and if it's the dope charge, it's gonna be the FBI or the DEA. With that being said, I wanna let you know that at that point in time, of the charges pressed against you, you will have state charges against you that will carry a bond. And you will also have a federal detainer against you that will carry a bond that you can't even pay for until you had your first, your second appearance in court. Let me explain what I'm trying to say again. Once, one more time, just in case it went over your head a little bit. If you in the county jail in North Carolina, and your charge is a state level crime while you sitting in the detention center and you haven't made bond yet your case handler will pass your charge over to the federal level if they feel like your criminal charges fit the criteria that the feds can prosecute because obviously the state benefits somehow by sending you over to the feds. Either they are sending you over to the feds or the feds will come over and come get you if they feel like they wanted to come get you. Now that we got that squared away, let's move on. You will be given a public defender. A public defender will be from the district that you got charged in. Me, myself, for example, I was charged in the middle district of North Carolina. So I got a middle district public defender. Yes, you can hire your own lawyer. It will cost you. Most federal charges cost dudes that I know of that's from my hood, what level stuff that they do. A lawyer on a federal level would charge you anything from 30000 to hundred to $200,000. But you don't have to pay for a public defender. But if you want to hire one, they are high as hell. All right, let's move on. You will have a first appearance in the, in the district that you got charged in. You will go in there and they will tell you that you got indicted federally for whatever charge you got charged with. Most of the time, if you see a Negro, a nigga, a black man in the courtroom, most of the time it's for guns and dope. So that's what you will be punished as. Meaning that your op will be standing to the left of you or the right of you and there will be the DEA the DA and it'll be whatever agency pressing charges against you so in my in my case when I looked over to the left it was a DA and it was an ATF agent over there and they was planning on making sure I get dropped on my head okay what else we need to talk about okay federal charges federal charges in the feds, you can make bond. If you get one, that's the joke. If you do not cooperate with federal enforcement, there will be no bond. In my case, when I went to court and I was convicted on federal charges, I didn't get no bond. And I'm not rich, and I'm not famous, and I'm not even a flight risk, but I ain't get no bond. You know why? Because of this thing called leverage. And we're going to get into that on another video. Let's move forward. Now that we're moving forward, in court, they will list the indictment. They will let you know that you have a lawyer and they will ask you, are you attempting to buy one? If you're not, they're gonna waive it. They're gonna waive any, they're gonna give you a lawyer and you're gonna wait in the detention center. In the detention center, there will be groups of brothers in your same situations, but all of them will not be solid and most of them will not be on your side. They will be trying to obtain some type of details in your case that can help them 
cooperate with the federal law enforcement to make sure that you get your time and that they get a time cut. So please be aware of discussing your case with dudes in the detention center with you. There are groups of men that are just dying for any information they can use to give to their lawyer so their lawyer can give to a DA and the DA prosecute somebody and them cats get a time cut for that. And some of them dumb motherfuckers don't even get a time cut. They just be snitching like a motherfucker for GP. So please watch out for these motherfuckers in the detention center. Now, in the detention center, there's going to be some things that you're going to be waiting for. You're going to be waiting for this thing called the PSR. And your PSR is your pre-trial report. Your pre-trial report will list all the factual basis that's against you. It will also let you know what your citizen guidelines will look like. They will show you an estimated citizen greed, a pre-citizen report. That's what the PSR stands for. It's a it's an envelope that federal inmates get from their lawyer by way of the district that you get charged in. And in that envelope lies the rest of your life. It's going to say stuff about how you did this and how you did that. Hey, the zoom zooms and the wham whams to make sure you get body slam will be within this document. I remember when I was on them slabs, I read that PS report a thousand times. I suggest that if you get a PS report or you have one on the way to you, when you get it, I suggest that you study the fuck out of it. Inside of that PS, that PSR report, the pre-sentencing report, there will be something in there that you could use to get your black ass out of jail. So I suggest that your narrow ass start reading, put them fucking spades down, put them fucking chest, put some of that chest shit down, you know what I'm saying? And actually read your PSR because there are factual bases in there that they're going to attack you with. And there's some things in there that you can attack them with. I suggest that you counter any claim that the federal law enforcement has charged you with. And now that it's been eight minutes, I feel like I gave you enough to have the insight to know what's going on with you when this shit goes down. It's your boy, Kamario Palmer, LLC. And y'all have a nice day. I'm coming with some more. Peace.